Rob Lucci World Government Monster debuted on OPTC Global on the 11th of October 2017. This character was a solo debut in the game, not arriving with any other characters which was quite an odd occurrence in the grand scheme of things. Another anomaly was the fact that Rob Lucci had debuted only one month prior on the Japan version of the game and was fast tracked to the global version for some reason. This Sugo Fest exclusive brought along further buffs to the powerhouse class providing arguably one of the most consistent damaging captains at the time at the cost of lowering your crew crew's overall recovery. His special allowed your crew to find a full board of slots which allowed your burst turns to run more smoothly. Introducing Rob Lucci World Government Monster in this series, we'll be traveling back in time to experience some of the older Sugo Fest exclusive characters in their prime, aiming to show just what it was like to use these characters on their debut. I hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's enter the Legends of OPTC. So thank you very much for checking out another episode of the Legends of OPTC series and in today's video we're having a look of course at V2 Rob Lucci which is a pretty interesting release the fact that it you know it only released just on Japan and then like almost to the day like 30 days later it arrived on global which was pretty bizarre um, you know this actually originally debuted on Japan with V2 Law. Remember that Global actually received the V2 Quick Law um, a little bit earlier compared to the Japan version of the game and when they originally debuted that on Japan, Rob Lucci debuted alongside him. So it was a weird kind of period at, at the moment in terms of Treasure Cruise releases, but let's have a look at what Rob Lucci is capable of doing. Now unfortunately on the database right now there's a couple of issues with uh, getting the images so you won't be able to see his artwork in high quality here hopefully you guys saw it at the start of the video but let's go ahead and break down what he actually does he is a quick powerhouse shooter character with a captain ability that would boost the attack of powerhouse by 2.5 times as well as giving them a 1.2 health boost and then also reduces the recovery of powerhouse characters by 50 percent this is quite detrimental and then obviously if you have a double v2 luchi you only get 25 percent of your normal recovery because it will calculate both 50 percent um, together right so it's actually quite a lot of recovery that you end up losing now it doesn't look like a high attack power however every time you hit a consecutive perfect the attack boost of your powerhouse characters gets increased so it goes up to a 2.75 after the first perfect then a three times then a 3.32 and then a 3.6 and then the final perfect if you hit all of your consecutive perfects 4.026 times multiplier to your powerhouse characters. This was an immensely powerful captain effect, allowing powerhouse characters to rival some of the other best teams in the game, such as Strikers and also, you know, Free Spirits with uh, Time Skip Luffy, of course, and, you know, V1 Akainu was still uh, rumbling around. So there's, uh, this is a very, very good captain effect at the time for powerhouse characters in general. Let's have a look at his special ability though. Special ability, which would max out normally at a 15 turn cooldown. Of course, he gets more with Limit Break later on but it reduces the defense of all enemies by 80% for two turns, which didn't really matter that much. It also dealt a bit of damage, typeless damage, to all enemies, and then changed all slots on powerhouse characters into matching slots, as well as giving 20% of your crew's max HP back in recovery. So it's actually kind of a nice addition that they actually have this recovery boost, because we already saw that with his captain ability, you lose out on a lot of recovery. So, you know, the recovery slots were kind of... Uh, pointless in a way because they didn't really give you any recovery back but this special ability allowing you to get some health back was very very useful and there were definitely pieces of content back in the day that you know you could only really clear because he had a recovery um, with his special ability so Rob Lucci very very interesting unit and uh, you know we'll be looking at some different powerhouse characters today but I'm very very excited to see what kind of content we're going to be using today with V2 Lucci so taking a look at what kind of content we're playing today we have three different pieces of content we've got two Colosseum and a clash uh, we've got clash sanji we have colosseum eneru which i've actually misspelled unfortunately and also colosseum lucy um, i'm not really too sure which of these is going to be the most difficult probably lucy i think is going to be the most difficult uh, then again colosseum eneru when he first came out was a pretty tricky colosseum as well so let's go ahead and spend this wheel and see exactly what we get i'm very very intrigued to see what we're going to be using this absolute beast of a legend against today and it's going to be... It's going to be Clash Sanji. All right, well, I don't think this is going to be too difficult, but I'm really, really pumped to give this a shot and see how we kind of handle it. So 
Clash Sanji is going to be the character we take on. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's hope that we get something that we want. Okay, so before we get into this, what legends do I actually want? So, I really, really want Quick Luchi, Neko Mamushi. Uh, I would love to get uh, Blackbeard or Borsalino. Uh, Akainu would be pretty cool. I think those are the main ones that I really want. I'd love to have Zoro as well. He'd be a pretty cool legend to own. Uh, and I think that's about it for now. There's probably legends that I'm missing that I'd like to have. But let's get into it. Let's hope that we don't get too many duplicates from these legends. Let's go ahead and see what we get. First one, it's a red! <laughs> let's see what it's gonna be. What's it gonna be? Yes! Yes! Quick! Luchi! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! We got probably the number one legend I wanted the most. Oh my god! So we're in game now with my man Rob Lucci, member of the World Government CP9 Undercover Intelligence Agency, a master of the six powers martial arts to its ultimate techniques. His physical prowess is boosted as a Zoan type, the strongest devil fruit type, he claims, for aggressive attacks. So this is my man right here, Rob Lucci. Now, I have not uh, gone ahead and gotten a new copy of Lucci. This one right here is just another dupe that I had already leveled up. This one already was limit broken, unfortunately. So he does have one additional cooldown. And he actually does have an additional 100 cotton candy, which you typically wouldn't have um, if you had this guy, uh, you know, when he first came out. Because limit breaking wasn't really a thing yet. Limit breaking is coming very soon, though. So I'm very much looking forward to that. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the team today. Now, this team does have a couple of characters that were not out at the release of Luchi, but we can't talk about V2 Luchi without showing you these characters, which is the Boa Sisters. The Boa Sisters were such an influential character, and they came out not long after Luchi debuted, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. But these characters are so influential, not only for both striker teams, but also powerhouse teams as well. These characters are immensely powerful because you have access to um, the Sandazonia, which can give you a full board of deck slots, give you an attack boost to your powerhouse characters. And then Merigold changes deck slots into matching and then gives you a conditional boost against defense down, which I believe Sandazonia also inflicts to the enemy. So with Sandazonia and Merigold, you can actually get a full board of matching slots an attack boost and a conditional boost and it was just so insane the fact that not only was this working for powerhouse teams but they both work for striker teams as well and of course we had cat viper the legend that we talked about a couple weeks ago being one of the best legends at the time and it was you know due to the fact that you know strikers were very very good and these characters helping out powerhouse makes luchi and cat viper two of the best legends at, at this current point in time but as for the other characters here we've got um hody jones making a reappearance here because we really needed damage reduction because again sanji he does do a death hit so we need damage reduction. So that's why we have Hody. And then we've also got Marco. I'm not too sure if we're going to need Marco, but he's just kind of like a filler unit. Wasn't really too sure who I really wanted to put on the team. But I'm very, very excited to jump into this today, especially because we're using the Rocket Man. I don't know if we used it again, but Rocket Man is a really good ship for powerhouse teams. I'm not too sure when the exact release of Zunisha was on Global. If we had Zunisha at the time, you would definitely use that instead of this. But this is still a very solid ship that gives you very good HP recovery and also is a very good attack booster for powerhouse teams in general. So... Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So shout out to my man, the Lord Shiro, for providing us with his friend, Captain Rob Lucci. And let's go ahead and get this party started. Of course, no supports because they were not out yet, but I'm so excited to use V2 Lucci, one of my favorite legends in the game's history. I'm so excited to use him today. Let's jump into it against Clash Sanji, 60 stamina difficulty. Okay, here we go. Clash Sanji, True Feelings, 60 stamina, 10 star difficulty. Now I have absolutely no idea what is going to be happening here? Tandem and recovery are counted as non-beneficial. Or they are counted as beneficial. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually very nice. So we didn't even need to use Zunisha realistically. But Zunisha was a very good ship for V2 Luchi because it does make perfects easier to hit. Which was also another reason why, um, why, why Powerhouse was so incredibly strong. Now, of course, we need a stall. Um, we actually need uh, quite a lot of stalls. So hopefully we don't have to take too much damage here. Uh, would be nice to attack one of these guys. Hopefully there's a really good stall turn coming up with some turtles, because we're going to desperately need it. Um, of course, recovery slots don't really help us out too much, remember, because our recovery is reduced by tw by 75% between the two Luchis, so we have essentially no recovery here. Let's go ahead and attack again. Hopefully he doesn't do any nasty things. 
Uh oh. Slot switch. Uh, okay, that's not ideal. I'll admit it's not ideal, but it's uh All right. Well, it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> We're moving on to stage two. Hopefully we get one of those turtle stages coming up soon Stage two, uh, we have a couple of turtles. We definitely want to get rid of these guys on a one-turn cooldown Okay, make sure to hit perfects as well Beautiful Dude, Rob Luigi is so much fun to use. I mean, consistently hitting your perfects can be definitely detrimental when you have to manually target different characters. I mean, this guy is so cool, man. V2 Luigi is so freaking wicked. Absolutely love this unit to death. All right, so we're going to stall these turtles for a bit. We probably don't need to stall that much. Um, I mean, we do need Hody Jones' special. That is going to be very important on the final boss stage. We need to reduce that incoming damage from Sanji. As I said, um, he does provide himself a... Um, he has, like, a barrier, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm pretty sure... I, I just went off, like, just what was going on in my head. At least from what I remember with Sanji. I probably should have looked up what Sanji actually does. I hope that we have enough damage, too. I just assume that, you know, we're going to absolutely wipe the floor with this guy. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens, right? So stage three, what have we got? We have some agents, okay. They're going to have some delay immunity, which is nothing special. And we can just, again, just attack. Uh, I don't even think we really need to stall at this point. Because this is still stage three. Shine. My god, it's so satisfying to use V2 Luchi again. This guy's so awesome. I love this character so much. Move on to stage four. Is there a mini boss here? No. Okay. Oh, actually, that seahorse with a perfect barrier could be pretty annoying. That could be very, very annoying. I think we have to deal with that. <laughs> we kind of have to deal with that. I remember when this first came out, people were using Golden Pound Usopp on this stage to delay. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so we got through it and we killed one of the guys. Okay, you know what? That's not too bad. It could have been worse, unless if they do something. Paralysis. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we just straight up lose. This is why you should always do your research before you team build, guys. Yeah, we lose. We, like, hardcore lose. There is, like, literally no way we win this. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to reset. <laughs> Make sure to kill all of the surrounding characters first. Very important that they, they that we actually get that done. Oh man, that sucks. If only I knew. If only I knew. Alright, so we are back on Battle 4. Now, this time, we want to make sure that we actually kill all of these surrounding agents first. Very important that we do that. So, <laughs> we've learnt our lesson the hard way. Alright, let's get this done. Let's get it done properly this time. Let's get it. Alright. And then we're left with the seahorse, and then he shouldn't do anything. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and kill him off. And move on to the final stage. Beautiful. Alright. We're at the boss stage. Hopefully we're able to output enough damage against the, the Sanji, though. That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about, a little bit concerned about. So let's see what happens here. So first of which, he's going to apply a delay immunity. So we are able to use the Boa Sisters. Okay. He does end of turn damage. So let's go ahead and use the Sandazonia special first, which is going to give us the full board of deck slots. Gives us an attack boost, and then also does the uh, defense down to the enemy as well. So this is where Sanji applies a barrier to himself, right? Yeah, so it's a five-hit perfect barrier, which is pretty pretty harsh, honestly. So now I can use the Sandazonia, which is going to change all of the deck slots into matching, as well as giving us a conditional boost against defense down. Such a good effect there. Also gives us a bit of... Oh, actually, ooh, you know what? I just realized she also gives... I think it's a 60% damage reduction, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is a 60%. No, we need to reset and we need to use Hody first. All right, so third time lucky this time around. Let's go ahead and use Hody Jones first before we use the Merigold special so that we get Hody Jones' damage reduction before we get the Merigold one. So let's go ahead and use Merigold now, which is going to give us the uh, conditional boost and the matching slots. 
and we don't have an orb boost yet so we're going to go ahead and use Marco which is going to give us all of that health and give us an orb boosting effect which is going to be super super pog and then we have Rob Lucci. Now we don't have to use his special, but I'm going to use it anyway just to show you guys his special animation with BAM! The finger guns. Alright, there we go. Full border matching slots, we get the uh, extra defense down reduction, but of course it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, the healing. And now, all we need to do is tap our perfects and secure that victory. So, he goes nothing. Oh, it wasn't enough damage! No! It wasn't enough! It wasn't enough damage! I think what we needed to do is we needed to make sure that the uh, the orb boost, I think Marker's orb boost, it just wasn't good enough. We need to upgrade that for sure. I think we might have to use Fujitora instead. Um, Raid Fujitora. That, that is going to be enough, I think. So I'll show you guys what happens because I'm pretty sure we're dead. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain that we're dead here. Okay, so he's going to revive. He's going to use his, uh, Joshoto. Yeah, he does like about around 60,000 damage. Alright, we're going to go ahead and run it back. We're going to use Fujitora instead, and I think we'll get it right this time. Alright, so we've made it now to the boss stage once again, but this time we switched out Marco for the Clash Fujitora. Um, Clash Fujitora is a little bit better than Marco in terms of the orb boosting mechanics that he can provide. Marco was a 1.5 orb booster, which is good, but of course he doesn't actually get to hit Sanji, which is a, which is a bit of a problem. This time around though, we do have Fujitora who is a 2 times orb booster, which is far more superior, which I think is going to give us enough damage to get the win. So once again, we're going to go ahead and use Senders on your first, which is going to give us the full board of deck slots and the attack boost. We're going to go ahead and use the um, the Hody Jones special next. And because Hody actually gives us the 90% damage reduction, it's going to be way better than Marigold's 60%, which is obviously very, very important. And now we have to go ahead and use the Fujitora, which is going to give us the the uh, two times all boost to our powerhouse characters, which is our entire team. And then we're going to go ahead and use Luchi just because we can use his special. Not because it means anything, but just because we can. So here we go with Rob Luchi. The finger gun, of course. Now, try again on the final boss stage. And this should be enough to get the dub. So let's go ahead and get it. Yes, there we go. 7.9 million, nearly 8 million damage with two taps of damage. And hopefully Hody Jones can provide enough damage reduction to block the Sanji hit. It should. Of course it is enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can use the Rob Lucci special once again just to give us a full board of matching slots on this Sanji. And that's actually just going to get the win. That's beautiful. That is awesome. Just to finish it off with Rob Lucci special activation. So there we go. It took us a little bit to get there. But hey, without looking at what Sanji did just from memory, we got pretty close to getting it on the first try, which was wicked. So anyways, that is it. Really, really fun to use Rob Lucci once again. That is... That is so good. I'm really glad that we're able to get that one done. So that's about going to wrap up this One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And next week's episode, we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at Magellan. And Magellan is a very interesting legend. I'm really not too sure how we're going to showcase that one. But I think we should be able to find something pretty interesting for him. But really hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you guys did, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.